Due to the terrible consistency in the weather and obviously my terrible habit of forgetting to record videos when I'm at photo shoots, I don't have enough footage from like one shoot so I've compiled all the footage I could find on my phone and my camera and I've put it into this one video and pretty much and pretty much this video is going to be edited like the way I think. By that I mean it's gonna be a mess so I'm gonna jump back and forth between the videos and just me um, explaining things while I'm sitting down. The video is only going to feature two cameras. It's gonna be the Mamiya RV, <laughs> RV, RSE 67 and the Nikon F5 and the only film stock that's going to be used is Portra 400. Hey guys, it's David Dobrik here, back with another video. So today, we're gonna get... <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. Should I put my glasses on? Tell me what you want from me. Are you just so zoomed in in my face right now, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Look at the composition here though. Look what I got. That's why I like having a lot of cameras because like you have one that's super light that you can just take out and just take photos whenever you want. And whenever you're traveling, you can just keep it in the car, or keep it in a bag. Then you have like the big ones where you actually bring out when you have a purpose and you have like, you know what you want to do. And that's fun. I enjoy that. But the camera has to be film. Because everything looks better on film. Every now and then I like to go for walks around the area I live in. I'm so happy and so blessed that I get to live in an area that's always exciting and always fun to take pictures of. Even though it's always too sunny or always too dark, but you gotta make it work with the, with the things you have. And I love taking pictures of the area I live in. And on the days when it's just perfect, I either have work or I have uni. So, you know, God's trying to say something, but I need to figure that out. <laughs> One thing I've realized about myself as I get older is that I like working, 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 and I have anxiety when I don't work or I feel like I'm not doing enough. So I'm finding it very important for me to take time off and just relaxing and looking back at how much I've achieved because I've only been taking photos for a year. So I like looking back and, you know, giving myself a pat on the back, as they say. <laughs> I normally would dress better than this for photo shoots, but 
since I have work after. This is it. This is the goal. Let's get it. Now the next shoot was with my boy Ethan. Ethan is a very talented rapper from Adelaide, ADL, my city, represent. And pretty much it was my second time using the Mamiya. So it was a little bit hard. Plus there was wind, which made it even harder to focus cause I was getting watery eyes. And that's no fun really, you know? But overall, I love the pictures, everything went the way I thought it would and I'm excited to shoot on the Mimir again. I'll just have to get used to the aspect of like looking down on like the waist level viewfinder. So that's hard. That's a very hard thing. Could you go by the red tape? Hello. I just came back after taking those photos and I realized that if I missed it by like 20 minutes or 15, I wouldn't have had any clouds up. So that would have ruined, you know, my little niche that I have of having clouds when I do landscape photography, even portraiture as well. So yeah, I'm proud of myself, you know. It's, uh, it's an emotional day. I did it. I did it, boys. I did it. To finish off the video, these are the pictures that I took on my first photo shoot with the Mamiya RZ67. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.